In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May their friends let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers goodness. and sisters, that I have great listen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, that through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. When peaceful stillness compassed everything, and the night in its swift course was half spent, your all-powerful word from heaven's royal throne bounded a fierce warrior into the doomed land. Bearing the sharp sword of your inexorable decree, and as he alighted, he filled every place with death. He still reached to heaven while he stood upon the earth. For all creation in its several kinds was being made over anew, serving its natural laws that your children might be preserved unharmed. The cloud overshadowed their camp, and out of what had before been water, Dry land was sin emerging. Out of the Red Sea, an embedded road, an aggressive plain out of the mighty flood. Over this cross, the whole nation sheltered by your hand, after they beheld stupendous wonders. For they ranged about like horses and bounded about like lambs. Praising you, O Lord, their deliverer. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then he struck every firstborn throughout their land, the first fruits of all their manhood, and he led them forth laden with silver and gold, with not a rippling among their tribes. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. For he remembered his holy word to his servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy. With shouts of joy, his chosen ones. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Please stand. Hallelujah. 
God has called out through gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. And he said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord then said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that the justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It is very clear that the, the theme of today's Gospel is about prayer life. And Jesus is trying to inculcate something very important when it comes to our prayer life. That kind of attitude in our prayer life, spirituality life. And that is about perseverance, persistence in our prayer. If you look at the story, there is this widow persistently asking for favor from the judge. And definitely at the end of the day, she received it. At alam ko po, pagdating sa buhay, panalangin. Hindi po tayo nalalayo doon. Kita nyo naman, Saturday today, punong-puno ang basilika. At maayos po ang ating ating sitwasyon, kita nyo naman, andyan yung protocol, proper dis distancing. Kahit sabihin natin, medyo hindi pa ganun ka fully open, andun pa rin yung pag-iingat, tayo yung nagsisigasig na pumupunta dito at manalangin. Nagsusumamo, lumuluhod, dumudulog, persistently asking for a favor, seeking the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. At makikita nyo, pinapasabi dito sa Ebanghelyo, we have to do it persistently. We should never lose heart in praying. For definitely God knows when is the right time for, for Him to grant all those things. Alam ho natin yan, sabi ko, hindi nalalayo. You will see the power of prayer really. And you will see also, at the, let, at the, at the first part, kasama po dito yung isang judge. A judge who doesn't even, even fear God or respect other people. But then, look at the power of prayer. Pati siya, naantig ang puso para sa babaeng humihingi ng panalangin. And that is exactly the point in today's Gospel. It's kind of not giving up in our prayer life. Huwag tayong pumayag na tayo'y maging masama dahil sa kahinaan ng kapwa. Itong tatandaan natin, this is a human tendency. Minsan, we tend, we tend to take revenge. Kinakailangan natin gumanti. Hindi ako pinansin, hindi ko rin papansinin yan. Hindi niya ako binigyan, hindi ko rin siya bibigyan. But you know, you will see it here that we should not be like that. Even in a prayer life, huwag tayong bumigay. At higit sa lahat, Huwag tayong pumayag na tayo'y maging masama dahil lamang sa kahinaan at kasamaan ng iba. The real essence of prayer life is for us to sustain our good conviction and motivation 
in our prayer life. Mananatili tayong mabuti that even to the point Jesus said that we have to pray even to our own enemies and those who persecuted us. And that is the real essence of prayer. It's not simply about asking for favor. It's not simply about enumerating our needs. But more than that, it's forming us to become a better person. This is a kind of formation. Prayer life is about a formation to become a better person, to become a God-fearing person. It's not simply about coming here and then enumerating all our intentions. Or else, we miss the point in our prayer life. Kaya ito yung sinasabing nagsisimba and then at the end, hindi nagbabago. Hindi nababago ang pananalita. Hindi nagbabago ang asal. Hindi nababago ang disposition sa buhay. And they miss the essence of prayer life. Nagsisilbi sa simbahan, hindi pa rin nagbabago. Dada pa rin ang dada, chismosa at ano-ano pa. They miss it. In today's gospel, it's telling us, reminding all of us, that a prayer life is a kind of formation, forming our own selves to become a better person. Better in words, in actions, and more importantly, in our decision makings. Doon tinitignan ang Diyos, ng Diyos ang ating panalangin. Kung paano tayo nananatiling mabuti sa Kanya. Huwag kayong mag-alala, sige lang. Minsan sa panalangin, kailangan ng tiyaga. Sabi ko nga, persistence, perseverance. Sige lang. Kung wala man, naghihintay man, sige lang. Huwag lang tayong bumigay na maging masama. Huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Sige lang. God knows and He knows the best time for us to receive them. Walang masama sa pagiging mabuti. Nothing to lose at all. After all, sa pagiging mabuti, bukod tanging kabutihan din ang babalik sa tamang panahon. It's all about becoming more charitable to our people, to, to other people. Kung paano tayo maging bukas, magpatawad, maging bukas tumulong, bukas sa ating pakikitungo sa kapwa. Sige lang. Minsan masakit, nasasaktan tayo. Father, ako na nga ito naging mabuti. Father, ako na ito yung, ako na yung nag-giveaway. Ako pa rin ang masawa. Sige lang. He knows. God knows. And definitely, it's nothing to lose. Bukod tayong kabutihan lang ang babalik at babalik dyan. Naalala ko yung, yung, yung kwento ng isang, narinig ko yung isang kwento ito, seminarista. It's all about charitable. Yung, alam mo yung baging charitable sa kapwa. Nothing to lose in giving. I'm telling you, nothing to lose in giving. Yung magiging mabuti tayo, mapagbigay sa kapwa, maging mabuti pa rin kahit kahit anong ginagawa sa atin, nothing to lose at all. But if there is something definite, babalik at babalik ang kabutihan sa iyo. Kaya sabi ko ako, yung kwentong ito, it's about charity. Seminarista pa lang siya. Gabing-gabi yun eh, gabing-gabi. Sa isang simbahan, eh, gabing-gabi na, papasok na siya sa kumbento, galing siya sa labas lang, may pinuntahan. Papasok na, may tumatakbong ali. Akala niya, akala niya, father, 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 sabi hindi po ako, Father, seminarista po ako. Ay, brother, brother, pasensya na po, saan po makabili ng rosary dito? Eh, iniisip niya, parang bad trip siya na ba ito? Alam naman na close na yung simbahan, wala ng ilaw, naghahanap pa ng rosary. Wala na po, close na po yung tindahan. Sabi niya, Father, brother, kailangan ko po ng rosary. Kasi madaling araw po yung biyahe ko papuntang U.S., Kailangan ko po ng pasalubong. Nakalimutan ko po ng bumili na rosary dito sa simbahan na ito. Iniisip ng seminaristang ito, ano ba ito? Distoro po. But then, nangingibabaw yung charity. Ilan po ba kailangan nyo? 
bahala na po, sabi niya kasi, meron ako mga rosary doon. Uh, ilan ba kailangan nyo? Sabi niya, kayo na po bahala, basta meron po akong maidala, rosary. Kaya umakyat yung seminarista, umakyat sa kwarto niya, at alam niyo po ba, kami mga seminarista, ang dami po namin rosary. Kasi yun laging binibigay sa amin. Binibigay ng mga madre, yun lagi binibigay sa amin. So, ang dami namin collection sa, sa ros- na rosary sa table namin. na bumaba yung seminarista, pagbaba niya, binigyan niya yung limang, limang rosaries. At tuwang-tuwa yung ali. Salamat po talaga, brother. Salamat. Laking bag. Ang gaganda nito, brother. May lalagyan pa. Salamat. Salamat po talaga. Pagkatapos nun, kinalimutan na. Natapos na, kinalimutan na. Hanggang dumating yung panahon, yung seminarista na yun, pari na. More than, actually, more than five years na ang nakalipas. Maya-maya, kay Father, biglang may tumawag. Sabi, Father, may naghahanap po sa inyo. Sino? Si Mrs. Ganito po. Sino yan? Wala akong kilalang ganun. Sabi niya, basta po, hinahanap po kayo. Gusto daw kayong makilala, makita uli. Sabi niya, wala akong kilalang ganun eh. Eh kasi nga, ang tagal-tagal na nakalipas eh. Maya-maya, Alam niyo po ba, nung pagkita, nagkita na sila face to face, hindi niya maalala sino to. Hanggang sinabi ng alip, Father, Father na po pala kayo. Ako po yung binigyan niyo ng limang rosaries. Naalala ko pa yung lima. At naalala ni Father. Kung nga pala, no? Sabi niyo, Father, laking bagay po yung rosaries na yun. Laking bahagi po sa buhay ko Naalala ko po, gusto ko pong dumaan dito at magpapasalamat sa inyo. Sa so, kwento-kwento, sandali, maya-maya nung pag, pag-alis na, <laughs> ito na, pag-alis na ni, ni, ni Mrs. ni, ni ng Ali, may kinuhang envelope sa bago, may kinuhang envelope at binigay kay Father. Father, donation po. At ang laman, alam niyo po ba, 5,000 pesos. At sabi ng, ng paring iyon habang kinukwento niya, sus, kung alam ko lang, kung alam ko lang pala, dinamihan ko pa ng rosa <laughs> Kasi binigay niya limang rosaries. So bubalik sa kanya, 5,000 pesos. Sabi niya, sayang ko, kung alam ko lang, dinamihan ko pa. Well, it's a very funny thing, but that you will see, no? you will see, something becomes more meaningful if it happens unexpectedly, without expectations, especially without expecting something in return. And that is about the beauty of prayer life. If you are able to form yourselves to become a very religious and prayerful people, that is a real one in a sense that you really form yourselves to become a better one. You become more charitable to people giving other people without expectations, then definitely, as I have said, nothing to lose at all. What is definite is always something in return. And only God knows when is the right time. And take note, when God gives, He will always make sure that it will become very, very meaningful to you. It comes unexpectedly. We all stand. We must pray unceasingly and never lose heart. Our God will see justice done to His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. Encouraged by His teaching of our, love, of our Lord, let us come to the Father with our intercessions. And for every petition we shall say, Father, listen to our prayers. Father, listen to our prayers that the Church, through its ministers, may perceive amidst all her, her trials and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in leading a good life may find new inspiration in the faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor 
and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That the sick may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, listen to our prayers. Now in silence and while praying unceasingly, we offer to God all our personal needs and intentions, especially the intention of becoming a better person while seeking the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Heavenly Father, we entrust to you our needs. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, born of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. For my dear friends, at my sacrifice and yours, May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise and mighty deeds in the exaltation of the, all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in the presence forever. And may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Martin de Porres, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace for in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer of credo of stewards. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything. He possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus. Because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving. And perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. 
I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now and not tomorrow. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him without abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.